Tragedy off I-205 this morning when a car left the roadway, crashing into a tent, killing the man inside. Tonight, investigators are working to learn why that car went off the road. Welcome to Coin 6 News at 10 o'clock. I'm Wayne Haverly. Now, that crash happened at the Southeast Powell exit near the northbound ramp, and it has many people asking what can be done to prevent a similar event from happening, happening again. Coin 6's Jennifer Dowling is digging deeper tonight into the situation. She joins us live with more on what ODAT, ODOT plans to do following this crash. We have seen so many of these uh, tents near the roadways, uh, and, you know, it was just a matter of time, I think. I think so too, Wayne. It's a dangerous situation out there. We talked to ODOT spokesperson Don Hamilton, and he told us that ODOT officials will be taking a look at the case to try to figure out exactly what happened. And then they'll also try to determine if there's anything they can do to try to prevent another similar tragedy. In this area of I-205 in Powell, tents dot the landscape, some sitting very close to the Southeast Powell Boulevard off-ramp, where a man lost his life just before 3.30 early Sunday morning. When police arrived, they say they found a Honda sedan crashed into an occupied tent. The man inside was dead, the woman driving the car seriously injured. We see a lot of dangers associated with this, and we've seen another tragic example of why this is unsafe. ODOT spokesperson Don Hamilton says homeless camping near Oregon's highways is a problem statewide. We've seen this in the past before where cars have gone spinning off the road and hitting somebody who is uh, residing right next to the road like that. It's dangerous. We try and do everything we can to make sure that some of these campers stay away from the road. Hamilton says anytime there's a crash like this, they'll look at what they can do to make sure it doesn't happen again, including looking into safety factors in those areas. We've used a couple of things as a disincentive to try to make sure people are not camping near the road. Fencing is certainly one of them, but the rocks have been a very effective disincentive in some areas too. Uh, we're going to be looking at a lot of things for this area. Find out what more we can do to try to keep this area safe. Now, as far as removing campers altogether, Hamilton says that the city would be in charge of cleaning out any camps within city limits, which those would be. Reporting live in Portland, Jennifer Dowling, Coin 6 News. All right. Thank you, Jennifer.